Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you 20 cleaning hacks for lazy people. And I say lazy, but I'm kind of just kidding. These are just smart shortcuts and good cleaning hacks that will save you time. And although I make so much cleaning content on this channel, I don't actually love the cleaning process itself. I love having a clean house, but when I clean, I do just wanna get it done as quickly and as efficiently as I possibly can. And that is why I'm always seeking out new hacks, new shortcuts. So I think you'll really like the ones in today's video. Um, and if you do, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, I would love you to consider subscribing. I post three videos a week on a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday, and I would love to have you as a viewer. So with all that said, let's get into the cleaning hacks for lazy people. So the first cleaning hack that I wanted to share with you is the quickest way to clean your blender, especially if you've blended up something that is sticky, like peanut butter or almond butter or honey, then this hack is perfect. All you do is once you've emptied out the contents is add some warm water and a little bit of washing up liquid, put the top back on it and then stick it all back on the blender and that will help to get all the sticky stuff off um, of the inside. It's really quick and easy to do and then all you have to do is give it a rinse and it's clean. And if you hate cleaning your oven like I do, then a great hack is to line baking trays to catch drips. Or you can also buy a super non-stick oven liner like I did. These just lay in your oven. They look like this and they're super non-stick. And every now and then you can just take this out, give it a wipe down, and it is so much easier than having to clean your entire oven. And did you know that a lint roller is not just for your clothes? These are amazing to use for dusting. I particularly like using our one on the bed head and on lampshades as well. And we actually invested in a reusable one. So it's super sticky, but you can actually wash it and reuse it multiple times. And I also have a few hacks on how you can avoid ironing at all costs because ironing is one chore that I just don't love. So I have found quite a few ways around it. So the first way is to use a product like this. This is a crease releaser. I particularly like this product on things like our bed sheets because there's nothing worse than really creased bedding. I actually ended up buying a cordless iron um, to try and just use that on our beds and it really didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. But another hack that you can do is actually turn down the spin cycle on your washing machine to 800 rpm and that actually helps you get less creases and something else you can do that is a really effective way to get creases out quickly is to throw the creased item into the tumble dryer but with a slightly damp cloth and then turn it on for about 10 minutes so this is great if the kids ever have a wrinkled school shirt and we need it in a hurry i'll just chuck it into the tumble dryer with a slightly damp cloth and and it comes out with so many less wrinkles, it's really effective. And another way is actually to just fold things as soon as they're done in the tumble dryer. If you hear that ding of the tumble dryer and you have a minute, if you quickly fold the clothes, then that really does help you get less creases. And I also wanted to show you a product that I love and I've found so many uses for. These are magic erasers and I buy them in Poundland, but you can get them in so many different places. They are amazing at removing stains that are on your wall like if the kids ever get marker onto the wall these take it right off or also on your countertops they're amazing on the soles of your trainers these really brighten up mine quickly and I just find so many uses for them I actually end up cutting them up so that they last longer and yeah I just really really rate them and the next hack is amazing for lazy people and it is to utilize your dishwasher and your washing machine. You can pretty much put anything that is waterproof into these and they will come out sparkling clean. So in our dishwasher, we like to put toys, especially bath toys. We also like to put extractor fan filters. We put hair brushes, light fixtures, like the toothbrush holder. We just put so much into it and it comes out all clean. And more recently, this was actually a tip from you guys guys, we wash Matt's hats in the top tray of the dishwasher. This means that they don't lose their shape, but they also get really nice and clean. And in our washing machine, we wash so many soft toys and I've even put Lego in to the washing machine in like a mesh bag before and it has come out all nice and clean. And the next hack is to clean your shower head or any lime scale coated taps with vinegar. I've shown this before, but it's such a good one and you can do it while you're sleeping if you want to, but just get 
get some vinegar, which in itself is an amazing cleaning product, and put it into a Ziploc bag, and then put the Ziploc bag over your shower head, and you can secure it with an elastic band, and then leave it to soak for a while, and then all you have to do is rinse it off, and all of the lime scale and like dirt and grime comes right off. This works so well, and it's a nice natural way to clean it. And using vinegar is also a great way to clean any cloudy looking glassware. You know sometimes when you get spots or water deposits on your drinking glasses, then it's easy to remove if you soak it in warm water with some vinegar for a couple of minutes, then wipe it with a soft cloth and those calcium deposits should come right off and they'll be sparkling clean. I also wanted to share with you an amazing way to clean your microwave if it has disgusting dried on food inside it. This is so simple and it works every time. All you have to do is get a microwavable bowl, put some warm water into it, and then add some vinegar. Or if you don't have vinegar, lemon juice works really well um, as well. I've tried it both ways. Then put that bowl into the microwave and put it on high for a few minutes and just let it do the work. It creates a steam, which really helps to loosen all of the food that is inside your microwave. And then after it's done, you can just wipe it out. It really cleans very simply. And then what I also like to do is you can use the really hot vinegar water to help to clean your sink afterwards as well. So it's kind of like two birds with one stone. <laughs> I also wanted to share with you a hack that I saw on Pinterest of how to get rid of cooking fat, and it's so simple, I don't know why I didn't think of it before, but if you're making something like bacon or sausages and you don't want to pour the grease down your drain, you can make a little tinfoil pouch and put it into a bowl, and once you're done cooking, you can pour the fat into the pouch, leave it to harden, and then just chuck it away in the bin, and you don't have to worry about clogged up drains or anything like that. And sometimes your house feels cleaner if it just smells nice and clean. So a hack that I do is use tumble dryer sheets in and around my home. I especially love to use these in things like our artificial flowers. I'll switch them out often, but they smell really lovely and concentrated. So you can take out a little sheet like this, put it into your artificial flowers, say, or your couch or even your car, and it just gives it like a nice smell. It's like nice and clean. And I also like to use a fabric refresher like this. If we're ever having friends round, I will just run around the couches, spray this onto them, and it just gives a very nice smell. Something else that's worth saying is that some products that you use might need a dwell time. So if you check the instructions on a cleaning product like a multi-surface spray, then it might say to spray the surface, leave it for a good five minutes before you then wipe it off. So actually by following the instructions and leaving it to just do its thing on its own, it actually gives it a better clean and makes everything like easier to wipe off. So especially when I'm doing things like cleaning the bath, I'll leave the product there for like 10 minutes before I then try and wipe it off because it just really breaks down all the dirt and the grease. This next hack might be quite specific, but if you have a coffee grinder that you use for coffee beans and you sometimes also use it to grind up spices, then I have an amazing way to clean it between using it for spices and using it for coffee, and that is to grind up just white rice. This will take the smell of all the spices away or equally the coffee, and then you can use it for both things. And the ultimate lazy person cleaning hack is to delegate the cleaning to someone else in your family. So our kids get involved, my husband does as well, they all have chores to do, and it just makes such a massive difference. If we each do 15 minutes a day, that is an hour and 15 minutes of people cleaning. Obviously the kids have things like cleaning up their dishes, getting ready in the morning, making their own beds, and things like that. And not only is it helping out at home, but it's also giving them great life skills and then me and my husband can work out between us what we like doing. Like my husband, Matt, loves doing laundry. I quite like doing the dishes, so we delegate it that way. And another tip that I've said before on this channel is to make cleaning me time. So if you have to clean up a room or do a power hour, then I really like to stick in my AirPods and listen to something like an audiobook that I'm reading or a podcast that I love or even catch up with my mum and sister on the phone. If I'm listening to something or taking something in and my mind is busy, it really doesn't feel like such a chore. And also another huge hack is to speed clean or to do a power hour. I've been talking about 
speed cleaning for so many years now, but it's almost like speed cleaning or setting a timer gives you that feeling, you know, just before someone's coming over to visit and you just find this energy and like blitz your entire house. Speed cleaning does that for me. So say you have 12 rooms in your house and you do five minutes in each room, then that will be an entire hour. And I feel like it also really makes you concentrate on the big things in the room that need to be done immediately. So you can almost like firefight. And as I said, it gives you like a bit of a challenge because there is a time limit. And the last lazy cleaning tip that I wanted to share with you is something that I'm also trying to instill in my children, and that is not to leave a room empty-handed and never to go upstairs or downstairs empty-handed. There is always things at the bottom of the stairs in our stair basket that need to go back upstairs, and equally, there's often cups and things upstairs that need to come downstairs. So just try, if you're going that way anyway, take something with you, it just makes sense. Right, so that is all the hacks that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you liked them. If you did, I would highly suggest you go and check out some of my other videos, like my 20 habits for a clean home. Um, and there's just like a huge cleaning playlist. So I will link that in my description. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.